Good day, everybody. Kurt Sasek here, Le El Presidente of Wine Taster's Choice. This is going to be one of my favorite videos that I'm about to show you. This is how to read French wine labels. This is one of the biggest questions I get from people because one, the French wine labels are in a you know duh, different language, and two, there are a lot of words on there that that just you know throw people for a loop. So I'm here to help. Hey, if you don't mind, while you're at it, please like and subscribe uh, to our channel and um, ring the bell. And uh, you can be notified anytime we post new content, so on and so forth. Without further ado, here is a brief lesson on how to read French wine labels. Okay, let's go through some wine labels. My French is not perfect, but I think it'll do the job, so bear with me. Christian Moreau, Petit Fils. Well, Petit Fils means father and son, and this is the name of the negociant. I know that because when I look down here, there's a term I'm looking for that I don't see that helps me under, understand that this is probably the negociant. What is a negociant? That person goes to vineyards, buys grapes, they use their own winemaker to make their own wine and release them under their name. Chablis is the region. Grand Cru is a classification. Grand Cru is the highest classification. This is the name of the vineyard. Now remember, in European wine, in particular France or French wine, the region plays a much more significant role. So one of the things that gives people the most trouble with French wine is they can't tell what it is. Is it Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, or whatever? So you, as a consumer, need to know what region makes what style of wine. Here's the information about the Appellation. Appellation Chablis. Grand Cru Le Clos Controle. Appalachian is a geographically protected area. So Chablis is an appellation, or it's an area, and it's geographically protected. Okay. Clos means wall. So I'm, I'm assuming this vineyard is surrounded by a wall. Okay. Mi en bouteille au domaine au Chablis. Bottled at the domain. Next one. Now we have another Chablis, but it's a different classification. Premier Cru is the classification just underneath Grand Cru. Here's the winery's name. And again, you have the appellation on information. And then here, this means bottled at the property. Mise à la propriété. Remember in the other wine label, I said there was a, a term I'm looking for to differentiate whether or not it's the negociant. This gentleman is the winemaker. How do I know that? Because of this term, viticulture. Here's another premier Cru, but it's written differently. So you can write Premier Cru where you spell out the word Premier or you can see it this way, all right? So just keep that in mind. This is the vineyard. Here's the Appalachian information. This I, I'm pretty certain is the Negociant. And then Bone is a walled town located, surrounded by the Cote d'Or vineyard. Merceau is the region, okay? Just as the other wine labels had Chablis as the region, Merceau is the region. Marceau is also 100% Chardonnay, but it's a buttery and oaky style Chardonnay. Again, just learn what regions make what style of wine. For those of you in America, think of it like pizza. You know New York style is thin crust pizza. You know Chicago style is thick crust, okay? So think of that, but in terms of wine. Now we have another wine label with Marceau, but it says Marceau Charm. Charm is one of Merceau's largest and best known premier Cru vineyards, Gravon de Bourgogne. Great wine from Burgundy. Okay, Bourgogne is the region in France. Merceau is a subregion within Bourgogne. And Charm is the winer, the vineyard located within the Merceau subregion. Make sense? Gravon is a no regulated term. It just sounds nice, so people use it. Here's the Appellation information. Louis Latour, one of the most famous negociants in France, and here's the, the term negociant. Mis en bouteille au bon. Okay, so bottled in bone, Cote d'Or. What is bone? Bone is a walled town that's surrounded by the Cote d'Or vineyard. Okay. Here's a, here's a Bordeaux label. Grand Vin de Bordeaux. Great wine from Bordeaux. Chateau d'Arson, this is the vineyard. Old Medoc is the region. So France is the country, Bordeaux is the region within France, Médoc is the subregion within Bordeaux, and then Au Médoc is a smaller, more specific subregion within the Médoc region. Cru Bourgeois is a classification. It's not one of the highest classifications, but it's very good, and you can find some great wines. 
Mio Bote or Chateau, bottled at the Chateau. The term Chateau is more often used with Bordeaux than Burgundy, and the terms uh, can be used interchangeably, okay? Translated Chateau means castle or country house. Here's another label from Bordeaux. I'm only going to cover two things. Grand Cru Classé. What does this mean? Cru Classé is French for a classified growth, okay? And this applies to Bordeaux wines. In 1855. In 1855, there was a classification system. It's called the Bordeaux classification of 1855 that was created at the behest of Napoleon III to rank the, the wines from Bordeaux, uh, mainly the left bank. Here's another Bordeaux wine, okay? Grand Vin, great wine. That's the name of the Chateau, Lynchbage. Cru Class A, we covered that. Poyac Madoc. So Madoc is the region. Poyac is a more specific area within the Madoc region. Here's another label. This is from the south of France. Le Vin de Ville O. The vines of Ville O. Ville O is a vineyard. Côte de Roussillon is the region in the south of France. Village is a classification. Village is one of the lower classifications, but you can still find some very good wines. And this is going to be a red blend from the south of France, which means it's basically uh, a GSM form to some degree. It may have some other grapes. Any red wine from the south of France will be some blend of Grenache, Syrah, Mavedre, or some other grapes. Here's the Négociant. Thank you for watching. Please note, I take requests. So what do you want to learn? Uh, I need to do some videos on beer. I'll be touching on that soon. I'm also going to do a video on Burgundy soon. But hey, put what you want in the comments. I love to teach. I welcome your feedback and take care. All the best.